SpaceX Starlink update on their priority plans. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for being here, I appreciate that. So today we're gonna to be talking about SpaceX's update to their priority plans. This is a video that's just gonna be short. It's kind of an addition to yesterday's video that I talked about this and I've been getting a lot of questions through email that people are just still not getting it. They don't understand how it's going to affect them, how much is it going to affect them? And a lot of the people that are writing in are folks that are using this priority service. So it could be global or local. The bottom line is the majority of the prices are going up, maybe about 90% of them. Not all of them, about 90% of them. Well, a very nice subscriber sent me an email last night that gives all of the information as was provided by SpaceX Starlink. So. I have the entire email in front of me. I'm gonna go through it with you so we can really break it down so you know exactly what to expect. Once again, that's what I do on this channel, right? I try to break things down so it's a little bit easier to comprehend, but sometimes it gets a little bit weighty, especially when it comes to technical things. So this email starts out with update on priority plans. Starting 30 days from today, you'll be automatically moved to one of the new SpaceX Starlink priority plans on your billing date. They didn't change any of the dates. So on your billing date is when everything is going to change. So everyone's change is gonna happen on a different date. That's just how it is, all right? This is not just everyone all at once. All new priority plans will enable in motion use. That's good information. So every priority plan will provide in motion use. Very nice. 99% or 99.9 .9 network availability service level guaranteed. So now they're guaranteeing 99.9% .9 service, just like all the rest of the ISPs that we know of out there. That is just simply how it is. It's very important. 99.9% .9 uptime is mission critical for most people and especially for businesses. So they are providing this in their service level agreement, let's call it. And it finalizes with, and more flexibility on plan sizes, meaning that you don't have to go with one size plan. And trust me on this email, you'll see there's a lot of different options. The new plan includes updates to your terms and conditions or TOS, your terms of service, and an adjustment to your monthly price. This is what everyone is just worried about, is this adjustment and it's not a small one, all right? Once again, there's a couple of people that are going to not see any adjustment, no price hike, but for the majority, you guys are gonna get an increase to your monthly bill. You will be moved to the plan and recurring data block combination that best matches your current plan. See the table below for details. Now, I'm gonna show you this table in just a second. Let's finish what they're saying here and then we'll get into that so you know exactly what these prices are and what you're getting for those prices or for that amount. If your data usage needs change, you can customize your monthly data in three ways. Adjust the monthly data amount, add or remove data blocks in increments of 50 gigabytes to 500 gigabytes. That's very important. Some plans allow you to buy blocks of data by 50 gigabytes and others by 500 gigabytes. It depends on your plan and I will get into that in just a second. Opt in in big quotes, to be automatically charged for additional 50 gigabyte blocks of priority data when you run out of your monthly priority data allotment at an additional cost. Did you follow all that? A little bit wordy, but basically if you go into the opt-in, like I said yesterday, what will happen is nothing will happen. You will just get charged. You will not get slowed if you get to that threshold where you use all of your data for the month. I'll get into that in just a second also. Quote, please note, all customers will be opt out, this is important, opt out of additional recurring data by default at the time of transition. If you run out of your included monthly priority data and have not opted in to be automatically charged for additional blocks of data, your speeds will be reduced to approximately one megabit down and 0.5 megabits up. So if you're a business class user, 
I mean, one megabit anything is just disgusting and 0.5 megabits is even worse when it comes to upstream. It's basically the same thing as like a single line of DSL today with AT&T. 0.7, I think I was getting of an up speed at the time. So this is basically giving you a nudge that you need to pay or your system is just not going to work anymore. That's basically it. Pay up or you're not going to use SpaceX Starlink until the following month. That's how it works. Lastly, in addition, added individual top-up blocks of increments of 50 gigabytes to use for the remainder of your billing period. Once again, 50, 50, 50, you can purchase some plans. It's 500, 500, 500. That's how it works. So let me bring up this chart. This is what everyone has been waiting for. So this is a chart and you can look on this chart to see where you sit, let's say, according to what your current plan is. What are you paying for? So it starts out with priority 40 gigabytes. It's $140 per month. It's called local priority with one 50 gigabyte data block, 50 gigabytes. Okay. So that's $65. So the way this works is, is you start out with your 40 gigabytes and then you can purchase in 50 gigabyte blocks thereafter. So if you get to your 40 gigabytes, you buy another block, you get 50 gigabytes more, and that is purchased in once again, 50 blocks. But the thing is, this is the only plan that actually went down in price. So this priority 40 gig plan went from that $140 per month down to $65 per month. It's, let's call it a loss leader to kind of bring people in, let them get a taste of it, wet their whistle, and then dig in a little bit deeper. And now it starts getting a little bit deeper. So priority one terabyte is $250 per month. Once again, this is the local priority and you can buy two X, two times of the 500 gigabyte plan, meaning that you can buy a terabyte at a time if you would like. Once again, it's two X. Makes sense because it is one terabyte and they go in 500 gigabyte blocks. This is gonna be $290. So instead of 250, it goes to 290. Then we have the two terabyte that goes from 500 to 540. Once again, 500 gigabyte blocks. Then we go to the six terabyte. You see where we're going here. Six terabyte goes from 1500 to 1540. Really strange, right? We see 40, 40, 40, 40, $40 increases for this local priority. I hate when they call it priority and then they call it mobile priority. I'll get into that in just a second. Anyways, this is local priority. Now we're going to get into mobile priority, which is actually global priority. Man, they really need to work on this nomenclature. It's just a mess. You know, it just, it makes it difficult to understand. Anyways, mobile priority, which is actually global priority, 50 gigabytes. All right. And you can buy these in 50 gigabyte blocks. Once you run out of your first initial 50 gigabytes, it stays at $250 per month. So it doesn't go down at all on the basic or the lowest plan of global priority. Before I go any further, let me give you an understanding with this local priority, global priority nonsense, or what they call priority and mobile priority, which is ridiculous. There's no reason to call it that. So priority, which is basically local priority, that is local being that it's in country, let's say. All right, you can't take it abroad and use it. Whereas global priority service allows you to use it in any country with a caveat. Not every country, but supposedly every country. We'll get into that also in just a second. So once again, the global priority starts out at that 50 gigabyte plan, it's $250. Then you have a one terabyte plan, which is $1,000 moving up to $1,150. Then you have a five terabyte plan that moves from $5,000 up to $5,150. You see where we're going? 150, 150, 150. Prior to this, it was 40. 40, 40, that's just how they're doing it. It's kind of strange. Then we go to 10 terabytes is $10,000. Now, 10,150. The 15 terabyte is how much? You guess it, right? $15,000 per month and that's $15,150. And finally, you can get a unlimited plan, all right, which is $25,000. And that goes up to $25,150, which I really think is just kind of strange. And once again, all those blocks are bought in that 500 gigabyte portions, right? That's how they're bought. So I just think it's very strange that they're going up 40, 40, 40, 40, 
And then here on the global, they're going up 150, 150, 150. You know, you would think that they would go up by a percentage, right? Because someone that's paying $25,000 per month doesn't give a crap if it's $25,150, right? But if it went up, let's say, I don't know, 10%, it'd be an extra $2,500. And now all of a sudden from $25,000, it turns to $27,000. Fine, you get my point. So I don't know what they're doing with this. It's almost like, I don't know, semantics. I just don't get it. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I do like that they are starting out with the priority or as we know, it's local priority. I like that they're dropping that down to $65. So if you want to use that on the road somewhere, you're not paying 140 bucks anymore. You're only gonna pay 65. And instead of having to buy the 500 gigabyte plans or the blocks, you can basically buy 50 gigabyte blocks. So let's see, this email ends with this. For additional information on the new priority plans, God, I hate it. Why, why don't they just name it right? The priority plans, please check with our service plan page and review the frequently asked questions in the help center. Always very important to do. Check out SpaceX Starlink's help center. A lot of good information over there. It says, thank you for being a Starlink customer. Now, these are a couple of points. In motion use in approved countries only. Remember I said I was gonna to get to this. So when we see global priority, or they call it mobile priority, which allows you to take it anywhere on the planet, it is only for approved countries only. So if you were to take your global dish, your global priority set up to India as of today, you will not be able to use it because India does not allow SpaceX Starlink in their country as of yet, eventually they will. They've been working on this for like, I don't know, six months now, back and forth, chatter, chit chatter of nothing. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. Anyways, service level agreement not valid on Starlink's mini dish. Like for example, today in this country, in the US, we can't use the mini dish and then use that mini dish for residential, right? If you want to use a mini dish, you can for residential if you're in another country, which I, I don't know. So there's like things that they're trying to kind of figure out when it comes to SpaceX Starlink. Remember, it is pretty new. What is it? Three, four years old now since beta times. I've been using it for 45, 48 months now or something. A long, long time, over three years. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, it ends with if you wish to discontinue your Starlink service you may cancel at any time. Basically, if you don't like our increase in our prices or decrease with the one plan from 140 to 65, but if you don't like our increase for priority that goes up $40 or for the mobile priority, which is actually global, the $150, well, you can cancel at any time, it's okay. We don't really need you. <laughs> so anyways, so in short, okay, what they're doing here is they're raising the plans by either 40 or $150, and they lower the priority 40 gigabyte plan, which is local priority, that allows you to buy in those 50 gigabyte data blocks. So they lowered that once again from $140 to $65, which I think is fantastic. I mean, that's more than a halving of the cost. I, I like that a lot. And once again, I believe that plan to be a loss leader. I think it's a way to bring people into a priority type of setup, priority service, mobile. So if 40 gigabytes is enough for you, then this is gonna be awesome. You don't need much more than that, you're good, you're golden. Maybe you're backpacking or you're doing some off-roading or something and you're only needing to be out in the nowhere's land, let's say for a few days a month or something. Well, 40 gigabytes is probably enough. And if you need to buy an extra 50, you have that ability to do so. And remember guys, like I said in yesterday's video, if you do not want to be affected by this at all, only monetarily, <laughs> In other words, you don't want to drop down to one megabit download speed and 0.5 megabits up. Go to the opt-in option. If you opt in, it will just simply charge you block by block by block as you use up each individual block. So if you're with the priority plan that is the local priority basic plan, it will charge you for 50 gigabytes more and then 50 more gigabytes, so on and so forth. Any of the other plans, they're 500 gigabytes, so you'll be charged for 500 gigabytes more when you use that, 500 more, so on and so forth. But if once again, if you don't wanna get hit with that throttling of one megabit down and 0.5 megabits up, which is basically turning the thing off, 
it's just, it's dead at that point. Well, if you don't wanna be hit with that throttling, just simply go into the opt-in and allow them to charge you for the extra blocks as needed. My personal opinion is, is when you use any type of service that you're going to be paying up in perpetuity based on your usage, you need to be really thoughtful about your usage. And in my personal opinion, I really think that you need to bring in a router that allows you to maintain or to watch the amount of data being used. Now you can use SpaceX Starlink's router or you can use like a pep link or you can use something else, but whatever you use, use something and know how much data is being used. Because all too often people will end up, let's say watching a video on YouTube, all right, and then they'll walk away, but they'll forget that even though the YouTube video just finished, YouTube will start pumping more videos and more videos and more videos. And it'll literally take about maybe four or five videos before it says, hey, are you still there watching? It's like, no, I'm not. And now I'm charged an extra 500 bucks or more. So be careful with that. Find something that works for you to be able to monitor the amount of data that you're using continuously through these different plans. Once again, you can use SpaceX's software, their app to be able to do that. I'm personally very anal retentive. I like using a third party for that. And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pump your signal through another router, or even a switch, a smart switch, to be able to monitor the amount of data that's going out. Anyways, and coming in. So, I hope you found value in this video. If you did, throw the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, throw it a thumbs down. Either way is great. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you. I appreciate that. Click the notification button over here so when I go live when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately, like tonight. We'll be live, JC Live, join me, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you want to give back to the channel, let's say there is a button down here, you could click on that, give a dollar or two if you like, if not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you want more SpaceX Starlink content, I've put together over 450 videos just for you. I'll put a link right here. We got to the end of the video, you could click on it now. <laughs> right here, click on that, you'll find a whole bunch of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, reviews, how to build mesh networks, all kinds of goodness. Check out that playlist over here. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch, my tees, my shirts, my books, everything else over there at jchristina.com forward slash shop, actually. We'll take you right there. If there's something there that you like, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.